right, next round. Yo, what's up? Time for the fifth round. I'm playing against... What is this, Conrad Holt? What the hell are all these tough pairings all of a sudden? You know this guy's so good at this stupid Nimzo Indian, I'm going to get crushed. We'll see what happens. This guy's been playing the same openings for years, and he knows them all really well. So it's going to be tough. I hope he's doing something a little different. Experimenting with his openings. Oh, there we go, a Bogo Indian. Right, this I can at least deal with. Conrad Holt, very good boots player. I'm going to play a system which I believe is just like kind of slightly worse for black, but not the end of the world. I'm going to do this, even though I know that I know that knight d7 is more normal. But I'm putting it on c6 anyway. Because I just want to. And it looks like kind of like one of those Bogo Indians where you try to take the c5 square somehow. I gotta keep an eye out for the move c5, which might already be good. Well, no, I can take on b4 probably. I think knight d7 looks logical. I should go c6 someday, right? I'll just do it. We'll find out if it works later. Um, now, if I take... Okay, I should go knight c7, I guess. So that when I take on d5, he can't take with a knight and just keep a knight there. But this position's tough. Maybe I gotta go take on b4 and c5 soon. Or maybe just c5. Oh, no, no, c5 he takes on a5. This is annoying. He's going to get two bishops, man. All right, I'm going to just do this. I don't know what else to do. But two bishops is a problem. Uh, it means I have to keep the position very closed. Oh, really? Let's think. Let's think. I mean, I don't even know what the point is. I'm going to probably go c5. No, take and... Ugh. c5, he takes on a5. If I take on b4, he takes. I take his rook. He takes, and then I go c5. He still goes b5. It's just kind of like... It's tough for me. I'm going to do this. I'm planning bishop f8, I guess. I want to go knight at f6 now, actually. No, I'm just going to do this. I'm not so scared of h5. It's just a pawn. I think knight f6. The problem is this guy is much faster than me, as you can tell. up a minute on the clock. At some point I may have to break go go c5. Oh I can't do it anymore because my knight's gone. Really? I didn't even think about that. Is that good though or is it just like not good? Like, can I take on d5 for example? I'm just gonna do it. Only live once. Alright, so he's gonna take my queen. Which rook do I take with? Probably the E rook? Okay. So, oh really? What about e4? Ah, oh, she took with the other rook, man. <laughs> because uh, I could have, um, oh, whatever. I think I want to go f6. No, I'm going to trade some rooks. 
The reason is, I just think his rooks are more active than mine, and combined with the two bishops, it can get kind of ugly. I want to go f6 and d5. Oh, crap. Alright, but he gets, he gets an outside pass pawn. It's going to be real tough. Well, I need to get my bishop back to, to d8. It's going to be tough to defend with this outside passer. I'll give it my best shot. This guy is real good at blitz and winning positions like this, probably. I think this helps me. Sorry, I'm a little confused by something. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm running out of ideas. Or I'm just going to do this, but then king d3 is annoying. I don't know why I'm so worried about this. I was worried about bishop a5, but so what? Bishop c7. <sighs> Whatever. Alright, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. It's my new plan. First I'm going to do this. Guy's king is active, man. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but you know, objectively, I should be able to hold this. We'll see. Maybe bishop d5 is good. I'm gonna do this. I think bishop d5 now is good, but maybe he won't play it. Well, then knight a3, and he has to go back to c6, pretty much. Really, he's almost checkmate. Exaggerating a little bit. Oh, um, whatever. Uh huh. I'll just do that. I have 13 seconds. I gotta go faster. I blunder my pawn because I suck. Whatever. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I was maybe in trouble anyway. Move the king. How bad is this? Pretty bad. Grr. I'll make him mate me with two bishops against the uh... Just to be a little careful here. Not too careful. He doesn't have to be too careful. Just wants to stop me from taking his pawn, but it shouldn't be too hard. Whatever. What a choke job. Oh, I can't move it? I can go here. Not that that's going to help me. Bishop e5. How many games are going? I resign. Shh, Christ. Did I resign before my flag fell? Nope. I tried. Where did I go wrong? I mean, I obviously I sh should have been able to draw this somehow. I need to get my king active. Probably just king f7, and then but then I was worried about bishop to 
this move unnecessary. Like something like this. I was thinking to do that. And I could do this, I guess. And then this. Like things are still like a little. I don't know. Oh! I lose two games in a row, but at least there's are two, two very good players. Anyway, see you later, YouTube.